Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today I'm going to do the compressor unit on my mini split installation, take two. Here is the unit I originally installed. I believe I evacuated the lines incorrectly and lost some of my refrigerant. And here is an identical unit. We bought two of these units, one for the barn and one for the addition. So I'm just gonna swap these two out. I'll recharge that one later. I'll put it back together and recharge that later. But for now, I'm gonna use this one on the addition and try to get this evacuation done correctly. Evacuation and release of the refrigerant into the lines. So, I obviously have that one uninstalled. Let's get this one in its place, hook everything up, and go through the procedures again. Getting real close to where I screwed up last time. I'm connecting my low pressure line to the Schrader valve, and the other end is connected to the vacuum pump. Let me see if you can see that. Yeah, you can see it. All right, and this valve is turned off. We are at zero pounds pressure. The last time I did this, I had to use this adapter, but no adapter needed on this one. Okay, instead of a full set of gauges, I just have the low side. This is a, a special gauge for mini splits, I believe. So I'm gonna open the manifold gauge, well it's not really a manifold, and turn on the pump. I'm going to let it run for 15 minutes. It should get down to minus 30, but if it doesn't, I'm just letting it run 15 minutes and that's it. It's almost down to minus 30 right now. Two o'clock exactly. So 2.15, this will be ready. Okay, it is 21. So it's been at least five minutes and the pressure has not changed at all. Now, I'm gonna take the cap off the liquid side
and I'm going to turn this a quarter of a turn for five seconds. And close it again. We are up over, oh, it's going to be hard to see. We are over, we are over a hundred pounds. So, looks like, all right, I'm going to remember where that was and wait for a leak. It's been a few minutes and no leak. So, we'll take this Schrader valve off. And put a little nylog on there. And cap that up. Wrong cap. I don't know if the nylog does any good or not, but that's what everybody seems to do. Now we open these all the way. And again, we're going to put some nylog on here. Reconnect the electricity. And we'll go turn this on and see if we're cooling. All right, we have this thing set on 64 degrees just so that it cools down quick. And it's reading 47 degrees and the wall well the wall was 74 when I started but now it's reading 71 I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that or not wall is 71 and the unit is 45 awesome it's working look at all the condensation on the refrigerant lines they are icy cold. I'm going to clean those off, turn the unit off, clean those off, dry them up, and then rewrap them all the way down to the valves here. And I'm going to wrap the rest of this stuff up at a later date. I need to get a cover made for this. I'm going to foam up that hole up there. I got a few more things I got to do with this, but I'm pretty much done for today. This thing is working really good.
Well, if first you don't succeed, do it again. And I did it again and did it correctly. It is working really, really good. Yeah, I got confused on the manifold, which valve to turn on, and I mistakenly turned the valve on the unit when I should have been opening the valve on the manifold gauge. The gauge I have is not a manifold, so maybe that's where the confusion came, or maybe I'm just a dumbass. But either way, if you want to see a video on how to do this wrong, you can watch the last one, or you can follow along with this unit on the gas part. Everything else was correct. All the wiring is correct and all that stuff on the last one. This one has the correct pump down and release of the gas. So it's all working. I'm going to be installing two more of these in the very near future and another one probably next spring on the barn over there. Let me show you the big one that I'm installing over here. All right, these are the two units that are going to be installed in here. This one right here is the same size as the one I just installed. You can see the size of this box here. This is the interior unit. And if you look back here, this is the interior unit for the big one for in here. It's just massively bigger. It's got to be, oh, it's got to be pushing five feet long and I don't know, maybe 18 inches deep. This is huge. The outdoor units, there's the outdoor units. There's the small one, there's the large one. Let's see how long they are. Yeah, they're about the same length. The big one is a little bit longer, but it's a good deal taller. So that is a big unit. Should be really interesting installing that. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.